Welcome to DOS Geek. This week we are going to finish our amazing series on Tor in the dark web. We're gonna do it in the most amazing way possible. You see, it's one thing to just be a consumer of these amazing services, and it's a whole nother thing to get involved. That's why we did the video on creating your own dot onion website. We're gonna fill the dark web with lots of awesome educational information out there. And I know many of you have already sent me your awesome dot onion sites, which I love. Thank you so much for getting behind that effort. I want to completely overshadow the nefarious nature that people give the dark web and fill it with lots of cool stuff out there. The other way that we can get involved is by actually running our own tour relay. Now, how this helps the Tor network is it makes it faster. The more relays that are out there, the faster it's going to be, more robust against attacks because we're gonna have more servers spread out all over the place, more stable in case of outages, and it's safer for users. And there are several types of relays. There's bridges, guards, middle relays, and exits, and we'll get into that in a second. We're gonna stay away, of course, from exit relays so that you're not responsible for any exiting traffic so we're gonna do this the right way and we're gonna use DigitalOcean because if you go to do.co slash DLN, you're gonna get a hundred dollar credit that you could spin up this service. It only costs $5 a month to host a droplet when we create one of these relays. It's so much fun. We're gonna get into it right now. Before that though, I've gotta show, look at, look at this Destination Linux network, but you can get your boom, Das Geek t-shirt. Now, if you have a choice between spending money on setting up and helping Tor and donating to them, do that. However, if you got a little extra funds, you want to get a cool t-shirt, I would love to see you all go to Mastodon and send me some pictures of you sporting this beautiful shirt here. So with all of that, let's go build us a tour relay. The first place we want to start, of course, is with EFF. EFF has tons of information along with and stuff you should look at, some of the legal issues that may come up in running something like, say, an exit relay. But you have three types of relays you can set up, the middle relay, exit relay, and bridge. We're focusing on the middle relay today. So, you know, as Tor traffic passes, it goes through at least three relays. And the first two of those are gonna be middle relays. And then you have an exit relay, which actually sends it to the destination. That's why you have to be very careful if you're gonna set up an exit relay. I do not recommend it. Make sure you check with your local laws and things on an exit relay. And then you have bridges, of course, which are used for circumventing censorship in different countries, which you can set up as well, which are pretty awesome. But the first thing we need to do is go to DigitalOcean, do.co slash DLN, get your $100 credit, and we're gonna go create a droplet. So create droplets once your account's set up, and then you're going to just go through here and do a couple clicks. You're gonna choose your operating system. You could do Ubuntu, you could do Fedora. In this case, we're gonna do Fedora. We're gonna do a $5 a month droplet here. So you do not have to have a bunch of power to do this. You're gonna choose your data center region anywhere that you want. Then you're gonna set up whether you want SSH keys, or whether you want this password based. I recommend you eventually go to SSH, but password base can start you off. The SSH is just far more secure. Then once you scroll down, you're gonna choose a host name and you're gonna click create droplet. Now you have two options. You can SSH into that droplet or we can do what we did in the other videos and you can just open a console here and do it all from that. So the next place I wanna show you is we're just following this guide that's out there on Tor. Tor is amazing. They have amazing guides out here. We're just gonna follow this step by step and we will be able to create our middle relay. So the first thing we need to do once we've opened our console or we've SSH'd into the server that we created is we need to, well, we need to install Nano because I know a lot of people don't know how to use Vim and things that come standard. So let's go ahead and install Nano, sudo dnf install Nano. Then the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna use Nano to edit this configuration file here. We're gonna add these repos in and you're just going to cut and paste the text they have down here below right in to that file. That's it. Select, copy, you're gonna go here, you're gonna paste it and it's gonna look just like what you see right here on your screen. When you're done with that, you're gonna hit Control X to exit. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna save? You hit Y, hit enter. And now you've done that part. That part is done, this is so simple. This is so easy to do. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make changes to this one actually. We're not copying any information in. So just follow along, nano, this file, 
and we're going to scroll down to all the various sections that they want us to change. So they want us to change the nickname, the OR port, the exit relay information. This is a really cool file. You can actually go through and read everything. Notice everything that has a hashtag, that basically that means it's not code, it's not running, it's not live. So to make that code live, you just remove the hashtags. But you can read through all of these sections and start understanding what all of these different configuration options you have for setting up your relay. And as we scrolled through here, this section is just for relays. We found that OR port that it wants us to open up. So we have this as OR port 9001. Notice no hashtags in front of it, so it's actually live there. And then we're just gonna keep scrolling through, looking for the next thing that we need to change here. And we come across the nickname. So you can set the nickname to whatever you want. Mine is DOS Geek, middle relay, something easy to remember out there. And I'll also have a link down below where you can search to see your relays that are live, which is pretty cool. Now you can set a bandwidth or throttle if you want for your traffic. You do not have to set this, but if you want to, you can set up that. It's not part of the actual initial setup that they mentioned there, but you can certainly throttle your traffic. And we need to change our contact information here so that people will know, because if you have multiple relays, which I do, then you must set up this option so people have an ability to get a hold of you if they need to send some information to you. And then we're gonna look and see if there's anything else. We don't want this to be an exit relay. So if you want your relay to, relay to be a exit, you can uncomment this, but I just forced it through an exit relay zero, so it will not be an exit relay. And now all of that stuff is done. So we just do a system CTL, enable tour, boom, it's enabled. Now we start it. Look at that, look how easy that is. We are basically done, but I like to actually see traffic go across it. So I install a tool called NYX. This is just a really cool application to watch traffic going across. And then I also want to set up automatic updates. I don't really want to touch this relay much once I get it up and running. So I'm going to let Fedora do all of its security updates and patching automatically. So you're going to put these two commands that you see me putting in here so that you don't have to mess with it. It's automatically going to, as soon as an update's available, go and patch itself, which is just a really nice thing to set up for a hands-off approach to this. Now we open NYX and boom, baby, we've got traffic and bandwidth already starting to go across this. Now it can take one to two days before it officially shows up on the registry. They've got to, you've got to be a trusted individual in here. So it's got to have a couple of days of traffic and some checks and things, but you'll eventually see that it's been accepted in and you'll be able to search it on the website again below to see when it's officially kind of listed and active out there. But it's so simple to really contribute back to this project, setting up a simple relay. DigitalOcean gives you $100 to do so, which is awesome just by being a part of the Destination Linux Network. So do.co slash DLN, grab the 100 bucks, set up a nice tour middle relay, help these amazing projects that we love so much. Wasn't that amazingly simple to get set up and so awesome? So now you can go, I'll have a link to this down below, metrics.torproject.org. You can go to the relay search here. We can look for relays, do a search, and boom, you can see I've got a middle relay up and running and the OR port and things that we set up along with, you can see I have a bridge set up here as well. So I have one relay, middle relay, and one bridge out there supporting this amazing work that they do. Speaking of supporting the amazing work that they do, make sure to go out there to tour and support this amazing project financially if you are capable of doing so. I wanna thank all of you for the amazing support behind this project, the series of videos we've done on the dark web and the privacy and security of Tor and just how powerful of a service it is, creating our own .onion site, now creating our relays and really keeping alive this very, very important tool that we have out there. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be doing a ton of videos here like this on security and things. We also have some hardware videos coming up. Make sure to check out the Hardware Addicts podcast as well, which I'm one of the hosts of. And of course, the Destination Linux podcast. 
to fill your brains with all kinds of information. And in fact, that's what you should be doing all the time. You should be out there learning and filling your brains. <laughs>